PJs and <laughs> sorry I just thought something really funny <laughs> uh, yeah this is a video that I think uh, probably the most asked for video to do so obviously I uh, I wanted to crack on and do this one for all of you which is a comparison between Primal Studios Third Scale Jungle Hunter Predator and Primal Studios Third Scale Alien Big Chap, both statues obviously of which I have. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be putting them side by side and just talking through them briefly and I'll measure them and give you the dimensions and everything else. And if I can remember, I'll put the prices up on the screen for you because I can't remember off the top of my head. I generally can't remember what I paid for them. And yeah. And anything that I don't cover that you might want to know, just just shove it in the comments, guys. You know, you know the score, and I'll get back back to you, sort of thing. So, yeah. So, without further ado, let's get them side by side and have a look at them together. Yeah, here we go, AVP haunt style. So, I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay. Try. Okay, everyone. So here we go. Here are the two pieces side by side, and I'm sort of hoping that the bricks on this side of my fireplace actually give you a. A good idea of the difference in size it might not look it on this video but they are virtually the back leg of the big chap is in line with the front leg of the predator also guys when looking at these remember that the big chap is leaning forward in this pose so he is losing a little bit of height but i will get the tape measure and measure these both for you i'll do that in a second but for me, seeing them like this, this is the first time I've put them side by side like this. And yeah, the Predator does tower over the alien big chap somewhat. But I was watching AVP about a week or so ago. And, you know, in that film, the Predators, I know people are going to say it's not the big chap. But the Predators were uh, substantially bigger than the, than the aliens in it. So I personally don't see particularly much of an issue here i don't it doesn't bother me one bit i think their thirds the both third scale pieces look pretty good together i know in the film i when i read up on the facts about this i believe the big chap the actor that was in the suit when i've it measured seven foot and i believe kevin peter hall in the predator was seven foot two so in real life there was about two inches difference between the two of them and I I've measured these once already and I know there's about four inches difference so yeah people saying that the the one third scale jungle hunter predator is was overscaled somewhat is is right that is accurate it is overscaled but for me I, I don't really see a problem here it is a little bit more obvious now seeing them like this in all fairness I say I, this, having these together like this wouldn't bother me personally. I'm sure one or two of you aren't going to be happy because I know some of you like it to be absolutely exact, but we all know what Prime 1 are like with their uh, scaling of certain pieces. They do get a little carried away with it. Okay, I will now measure these for you. Say, bear in mind, the, the big chap is leaning forward, so he is losing a little bit of height, but certainly without question, the, the Jungle Hunter is marginally overscaled. I'd say overscaled by roundabout. 10-15% maybe, maybe a little bit more than that, but not much more than that. But anyway, here we go. So at the highest point, the big chap is 29 and a half inches. 29 and a half inches. And the jungle hunter is oh, I would say 34 inches. So 29 and a half and 34 inches. So, yeah, about four and a half inch difference. But I say he is leaning forward a bit. Where he's standing up, I would say the actual difference in height between these two is about four inches. So it, it's it's relatively substantial in so much as how much this guy is, is overscaled. But having them here together like this, I mean, they're both absolutely spectacular pieces. Some of the best pieces I think Prime would have done. I think most of us can agree on that. But I stick with what I've said for me this is the superior piece solely on the basis that I can't find fault with this this one the predator himself is fantastic water effect fantastic all this area down here is pretty good I'm not overly fussed by this muddy but you start on the tree roots they're not great they're not greatly done at all not when you compare how good this all is and then when you get up into this area here where these broken bran these broken branches on this tree root are unforgivably bad for me. They're as crap a paint job as I've seen on a Prime 1 piece. I took some footage earlier of you. So it's that for me 
which is the letdown of this. It, it has to be a 10 out of 10 for me. It, it was, until this came, my favourite piece in my collection for obvious reasons. Look at it, it's the scale, the accuracy to the film and everything else. It is absolutely spectacular. It's just slightly marred for me by areas of this base which are unforgivable. I've had this now for over a week now and I can't find flaw with it. When I have the LEDs on it that I've bought for it, incidentally, I got them off Amazon. I'll put them on for you now. I'll turn, because I've got my um, lighting rig on. So what I'll do is I'll put the LEDs on onto this and the LEDs on the back of this here. And it just, at night, it just looks brilliant. It just looks spectacularly good. I'll put some video footage up as well. Of course, uh, this my display for this Pred is set off lovely because I've got the limited edition bust behind there as well. I've got the other portraits here. I've got the original 87 poster, which is going to be framed and going to be put here. I've also got the original 79 poster for this one. So I've got to think now where I'm going to display and where I can put that poster behind because he's not going to be staying where he is. But I need to have a little thing where I want to put it because I don't really want to put him upstairs. I want to keep him down here if I can, which might mean changing some of my Lord of the Rings stuff around. Um, he will actually fit on the top shelf. So there's always that. So, yeah, I don't know yet. But anyway, there we have it. Alien Big Chap, third scale. Next to Jungle Hunter Predator, third scale. Two magnificent pieces. But for me, number one is this one. And then slightly behind is this one. Right, I'll put the LEDs on for you guys. Have it with the LEDs on, not as striking a effect as what it is at night time. Obviously, I do have a bit of footage of the um, alien big chap at night with the LEDs on. Which but I'll... yeah, those those little LED lights I've got on that big chap, you can get them off Amazon. Um, I think if you put in LED spotlight and then put in double A battery put in AA battery, you'll, it'll pick them up, because I can't remember the name of them. You have to put that AA battery in at the end, and they're LED spots, and they'll, they'll come up on Amazon. So, fantastic little things. And the batteries are last, I mean, I have them on every, every evening that I'm here. I have them on, and I think those batteries have been in there now about five days, so that, you know, they're doing okay. They're doing all right, so, um, Okay, there we go. <laughs> Let me know, guys. Shoot me in the comment. And was that okay? Is that what you all wanted? I hope so. Any areas that might be a little bit grey, anything, any further detail you might know, please let me know. And please don't any of you say, oh, can you put them on a table? I am not moving them again, guys. First of all, that predator piece to move on my own. It is really, really heavy. The alien one isn't a problem. Um, and it's, yeah. And every time, as, as a few of you out there will know, every time I move a statue, every time I do a compose, I end up breaking it. So I am not, I've managed to not break either one of those. So I'm, I'm not moving them any more than that. I'm sorry, but I'm just not prepared. I haven't got anyone here to help me. So yeah, so that's it, I'm afraid. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, guys, really would appreciate a click on the like button. And again, if you're new here and not already, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. As I've already said, anything at all should be in the comments below. Um, I'm not sure what the next video... Oh, I do know what the next video will be. Uh, I do. <laughs> I'm going to film it today, actually, which is why I'm doing this first thing in the morning, which is why I've got the lighting rig set up. Um, I'll catch you on the next video, which will be in a few days' time. Until then, guys, take great care of yourselves. Hope you have a fantastic weekend, and I'll uh, see you all very soon. Thank you.